Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. Welcome once again to Fulton Street Beats. There has been a lot going on here. That's why I haven't been popping out the videos. But I have been shooting some videos. So you got to stay tuned because we got some interesting things coming up. I hope you are all doing good today. And um, I hope you're excited to see the new gem build. We have one down. Um, that is the build um, from the BYO kit. And I don't want to give anything away. The video, I'm trying to get it out right now, is just, it's literally I had four hours of footage that I had to cram down into one little package. and It was a nightmare because I was focusing so hard on building this and getting it right that um, I was kind of neglecting the video a little bit. But I think I got most of it covered. Um, it is a complete video that's going to take you from the beginning till the end of the build. And I know that's long, so if you've got a short attention span, it's probably not going to be for you. Um, after I get the video up, I'll go back in and, and I will, um, I'll put some chapters in, quick chapters, so you'll know where to go if you want to click through a chapter on doing the body, uh, lacquer, whatever, whatever it is, wiring, whatever you're doing. So I don't want to give it away the initial impressions of the guitar. Um, but it was a fun build. I really enjoyed this build. The more I got into it, the more I enjoyed it. And that's the way guitar builds should be. Um, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, it's time to stop and, and, not, and not do it. Um, I hope you're all doing well out there. Um, I know Christmas is approaching and things are getting rough and, uh, money gets tight and shipping is horrendous. And I'm going through that right now with things that I'm supposed to get. Shipping is horrendous. I have another gem build coming because we're comparing three. We're comparing the Leo James. We're comparing the BYO, which was just completed. You'll see. And, um, we're also comparing a gem kit from guitar kit world. I have really high hopes for the Guitar Kit World Kit. But it seems it has not moved from across the other side of the country. It has not moved in over a week. So it's very frustrating. So I got bored and I need another project. I, I like projects. I'm always busy doing other things, but I always like projects too. The mind's always racing. I think I do things in my mind in my sleep. So I always wanted a Stevie Ray Vaughan strap. And, <clears throat> of course, I'm not going to pay for one because they're just too much bloody money. But I said, well, it's nice just to have a conversation piece, a wall hanger, if you will. Um, so I ended up ordering a strap. It is not a fender. It is a, uh, you know, it's a Chinese strap. Same style, and I got it with the right color, and it's got the right pit guard. Um, but I'm gonna have to do some work to it because we're gonna make it into a Stevie Ray Vaughan strap wall hanger. Now, for those of you who know guitars, I'm gonna say something. It's gonna give away what brand it is. It's got Wilkinson pickups in it, so you probably know. And I'm trying to do this really cost effective, really cheap have something that's sort of playable and is a wall hanger, a conversation piece, if you will, that we can upgrade over time and keep doing things to, to make it better and better. Because we all know the guitar can only be as good as the components that are put into it. So we'll just upgrade as we go. Who knows how far we'll go. It's a starting point and it's just something of a project to, to play with for a while. So that's one project that's going on, and I have some parts ordered for it already, and and um, headstock logos and stuff like that, and left-handed tremolos and, and, uh, and output jacks and uh, knobs and things like that. Um, so we'll probably um, relic it. Although, 
relicking is <laughs> is fun, but you know Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar was new once too, so who knows what we'll do, right? Who knows? I think the best type of relic is a guitar that's actually a relic. But maybe we'll maybe we'll take it down that path because it was so inexpensive. Okay, I'll let the cat out of the bag. How inexpensive was it? Now, mind you, it's got Wilkinson pickups, and I know they're not phenomenal, but Wilkinson is known for making some pretty decent stuff. Paid $70 shit for this guitar. So my hopes aren't high. Um, I mean, my hopes are high, but my realization is probably that it's not going to be so high. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. So we'll give that a try. And if you guys are into guitars and you just like, in general, working on guitars, there's a channel that I've been following lately. And um, this guy seems like a really cool guy. And it's his, his channel's 2, two number 2, 2 Bike Mike. All one word, of course. 2 Bike Mike. And he's got a channel. And he, this is, he's an older gentleman and he works on guitars and he does a really bang up job. I mean, he, he really knows his stuff and he's just, he does a lot of unboxings of a lot of different various guitars across the board. I mean, he literally takes the guesswork out for a lot of us and says, is this guitar worth it or is it not? And, and if it's not worth it, he puts it right in his shop. He goes through it. He sets them up right. And when, when most of the time when they're done, they're a real decent playable guitar. I suggest you go to his channel, check him out. He doesn't, I don't know him, but um, I, when I see a channel like this, I just want to, I want to give him kind of a shout out and, and maybe bring you to his channel to check him out and tell me what you think. Um, If you go there, tell him uh, Fulton Street Beats sent you. They Mike from Fulton Street Beats sent us and um, I, I'm sure he'll get a kick out of that. Um, So yeah, check that out. And, and I'll, on these episodes, I'll try to maybe direct you in different channels that, that I find interesting. And of course, there's other channels. I'm sure you've all heard of Guitar Max. I mean, that's a huge, huge channel. And not only does this guy review tons and tons of guitars, the guy can shred. I mean, he can shred. He's awesome. So that's just fun to watch on its own. He can make anything sound good. And that's a talent right there. Anything. I mean, it can be garbage, but he can make it sound good. And a lot of that's, of course, due to equipment that he's using, but he's a phenomenal player. He knows how to manipulate things just to make it sound good. So two fun channels right there. Okay, so I do have this video coming out. I'm going to keep this video short. I just wanted to tell you, my subs, um, and I know there's a lot going on with the algorithms on YouTube right now, so... I'm not seeing all the views. I don't think you're seeing the views either. We got a big glitch in my YouTube system. I don't know what it is. I've been in contact with YouTube. I'm seeing the correct numbers in my studio, but not on my videos, which is kind of weird. So I, I think something's going on there. Uh, I know something's going on there. Uh, they're trying to fix it. So <laughs> bear with it. Um, but if you're seeing this video, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit like, hit subscribe. And hit the notification bell because I'm doing a lot of guitar builds right now. It's going to be kind of my winter thing, um, guitar builds. Now, the drums, I got a lot going on with drums too right now. And I, I'm a drummer. So, but I just, we went from an electric kit and then I just did a conversion on an acoustic kit to electric, which blows away the rolling kit that I started with, and not that the rolling kit was bad because the rolling kit's amazing, but this is just so playable and so fun. And it's funny because it's like I'm doing full circle. I'm, I'm almost going back to another, a, a regular acoustic and with, with just with just a uh, conversion hybrid setup. But uh, it's testing everything in between, and, and it's, it's just a cool setup. And it's testing triggers. Um, I'm using... Um, uh, Pintech triggers on 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 mute symbols, on low volume mute symbols, running two stick on triggers, one for the bell and one for the symbol itself, and blending the two, and it just wow, man, what the sounds you can get, amazing, amazing. So that's always fun too. But that's gonna be, I'm working on that stuff. That's just 
some side stuff that's going on, but we're going to be focusing on a lot of guitar builds because it's really turning into my Zen and I hope you guys can appreciate it. And, and, and what you'll find is there's a lot of differences of opinion and some people really get butt hurt over other people's opinions. And I feel sorry for those people, but if I build something a certain way, I'm doing it because I want to. It's mine and I'm going to do it because I want to do it that way. If I want to experiment with something, I'm going to do it because I want to experiment with it that way. And don't assume, because I'm not what you quote unquote call a guitar player, that I don't know how things should be set up or how things work. Assumptions are are something that, that can get a lot of people in trouble. Don't assume. Um, there's a lot of people out there that know a lot, a ton, ton, ton more than I do. And there's a lot that don't that think they do. So sometimes it's best to sit, watch, learn, listen, and make suggestions. Suggestions are an awesome way to go. I love hearing suggestions in the comment boxes because it gets my juices flowing and it gets me thinking, hmm, that could be a great idea or that could be a great project or plan or, or what have you. So if you see me do things different than what you do, that's cool. And if you do things different than I do, that's cool too. And throw ideas out. Toss them back and forth. Don't write them off because sometimes writing them off, you're, you're, you're throwing away some, some knowledge. I, 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 I run across so many people and so many comments. I have so much knowledge. And they'll say, hey, have you tried this? No, I have not. But let's try it. I'm interested in, 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 interested in seeing that. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes the things they suggest work and sometimes they don't. And maybe they work for them because they have an aptitude to make something work like that. And they don't work for me. That happens sometimes too and vice versa. So it's different strokes for different folks, different ideas. We toss them around. We do things differently. Um, the next, I was going to do these gem builds all the same as the Woody, but I'm not because. Well, I want some variation. The gem build I just did, the BYO build, is totally stock. Meaning, I did zero upgrades. Not even the strings. That's right. I used the factory strings. So when you see this guitar and you hear it, and the video that's coming out, you're not going to hear it yet. Because the video was just too long to put a demo of the sound in also. Just too long. Um, but the video after that, what I'm going to, what I plan on doing is getting a comparison of all three and you'll get the sounds of them all, all at once at the end. And I hope that makes sense to you and I hope you can be patient. Um, but totally stock. And you know that the first one that I built, the, uh, Leo James kit, that's not stock at all. I mean, that's got dark matter two F space pickups in it, all of them, all of them. And upgraded tuners and upgraded pots and upgraded switch and upgraded trim. And, and I did that on a $149 kit. By the time we were done, we had about a grand into it. And it sounds good. Damn good. And it plays damn good. Um, this kit that I just built, the BYO, how does that play? How does it sound? Well, you're going to have to wait and see. But let's just say it's going to be a surprise. Now, the Guitar Kit World Kit, my, like I said, my hopes are high for that. I'm hoping that that is the best as far as aesthetics go of them all. I, I'm counting on it. And a lot of people out there think that the BYO kit's better, and maybe it is. I love the BYO kit. Oh, damn, I left the cat out of the bag, didn't I? Okay. I'm going to shut up there because I'm going to put my foot in my mouth. Um, let's stop there and see what happens. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned because, like I said, this stuff's going to get very, very interesting and very fun very quick. And if you have the patience, guitar building is definitely going to be for you. Thanks a lot, guys. Talking to you soon.
shall we begin?